Hi everyone, my name is Mara Burrows. Today is April 26, 2020. This is my result video for week seven, lab 10, um, antibiotic sensitivity testing using the Kirby Bauer method. Um, so during this method, we were told to go ahead and split our uh, Petri dishes that we made into three. Uh, we spread S. epidermidis through an L-shaped tool around it so that it evenly soaks and let that sit for about an hour. After that, we put the little antibiotic circles onto the middle of each section and uh, let that sit for about 12 to 24 hours. And once that was ready, um, we, know, we are able to figure out which antibiotic is sensitive to uh, S. epidermidis. So this is my result right here. As you can see, gentamicin um, is actually sensitive to um, S. epidermidis. I know this because it inhibits growth around the, um, the well, they call it like an ozone or around the actual dot. Um, you can see the clear patch where there was no antibiotic growth there at all. Um, penicillin, you can also see a little bit of growth. There is a small circular area. It's not as defined as gentamicin, but there is that. So I would have to say that this would be considered an intermediate um, sensitivity to it, whereas gentamicin is sensitive. And with novobiocin, um, there is actually no circular area at all. So that would be resistant, meaning that it wouldn't work for that specific um, bacteria. So this is really important to know um, because working in the medical field, there's a lot of cultures and sensitivities done on a lot of specimens. Um, these tells the doctors um, specifically which antibiotic will work for that patient. So for example, if a patient had, let's say, um, a urinary tract infection, um, sometimes maybe the doctor will give that patient a cephalosporin medication or like a Keflex, whereas um, they find out that maybe the bacteria um, for that specific infection is ESBL, um, which means that it's resistant to multiple organ or multiple drugs. So therefore, they're going to have to do the culture and sensitivity test to see which um, antibiotic would actually um, help cure or kill that bacteria. And that's why it's important because just because you give a patient um, any sort of antibiotic, it doesn't always mean that that's the best antibiotic to be given for that specific bacteria. So it's really important to have correct um, sensitivity testing when it comes to bacteria. Uh, we also learned about the Penicillin canidia. Um, which actually is pretty neat. It does actually end up looking like a flower, even though it doesn't look like that physically. Under a microscope, it does. Um, I was able to point the three different um, locations. I believe it was the canidium, the um, oh, I forgot what they're called. <laughs> the three different um, parts of it, um, which I have on my lab sheet. Um, that was really neat to actually look at as well under a microscope. So uh, this is week seven, lab 10, um, and uh, that was a pretty easy lab. So uh, I will see you guys next week. Thank you.